everybody, it's Brian Shannon from AlphaTrends.net. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of November. Tomorrow's a ha Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving uh, to you, and I hope you stay safe. The markets uh, finally caught up to what's been going on with some of these stocks. That is the S&P 500. You can see it is one day off its all-time closing high. We've had a strong week so far, and we held above the key level, and after a period of neutrality where the market built energy, it broke the high end of the range, and buyers are back in control. Controlled. The NASDAQ also uh, controlled by buyers. We saw that the key levels held all these volume weighted average price levels from the prior uh, peaks and troughs. And we saw a test of the month to date volume weighted average price on Monday. And from that test, we've uh, cleared through this prior band of resistance. And that puts the buyers right back in control. I will continue to talk about the ETFs. I have been doing this for two decades now. But during periods when we have stocks out, performing it's just it makes a lot more sense to pay attention to the stocks each and every day I provide analysis of the ETFs at alphatrends.net normally it's seven hundred ninety nine dollars for a year to all access through the end of the week it is five hundred ninety nine dollars that's a hell of a deal if you ask me uh, but you didn't ask me so I'll continue to go here if you are interested please send an email to support at alphatrends.net that's seven hundred ninety nine dollars is typical 599 is the sale price. Russell 2000, really strong. Semiconductors are leading the way. Biotech, still disappointing here, but it's encouraging. They hold the 20 and 50 day moving average. And the financials, the only way to trade these is to just be involved. They're not something that you can trade. You have to be involved and be a believer because you just can't uh, participate in, in, in a market that gaps this much. I can't at least. Let's talk about the stocks because there's just been so so much opportunity in those in in the individual stocks and I've been talking about those for the last couple of weeks here uh, and what I want to do is review some of those individual stocks. We'll also talk about uh, some of the uh, 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 cryptos too. UPWK, this is one that uh, Alpha Trend subscribers got involved in right over here at 2675. We got stopped out of a final third of this stock today at uh, $33.48 per share. APHA is one that we're involved in. We got involved in this one at 573 and we have one third of our position left right now uh, with a stop currently at six dollars and 32 cents per share crsp and i put a lot of these on twitter as well we're involved at 103.50 our stop is 106.75 we did get stopped out of the balance of riot uh, we got involved in that one right over here and i put that on twitter at 377 i believe it was just perfect timing on that one but we got stopped out of the balance of that one this week uh what else did we uh talk about ballard power we got stopped out of that they they did a secondary offering and we had gotten involved uh down at 16 40 some somewhere in here i'd mentioned that on the youtube video two weeks ago and i've been talking about it on twitter as well but we got stopped out of the balance of that one for a gain of 15 percent uh just yesterday ryam we're still involved in this one we got involved in ryam at four dollars and 86 cents per share right over here as it broke that resistance and it's still got room to run we've got uh, uh a, a piece left still with our stop at uh uh, where's my stop in uh, that one? I guess the stop is at 596, and I think we'll probably raise that up today. Um, anyways, GameStop, I've been talking about that one as well. GameStop, we're involved at 1193. We have two stops. Uh, one of them right now is at uh, 1328, and the other at 1297. I'll most likely raise that for subscribers uh, in the next uh, uh, update for for them as well. AAXN was one that worked perfectly this week. I had put this on Twitter saying that, you know, if it can get above this volume weighted average price pinch, and by that I meant the volume weighted average price from this gap up, you can see how it held as a uh, level where supply was found. And then we saw the volume weighted average price month to date holding on the upside on, on the, as support. Well, as it broke beyond that, it's just been a beautiful trade since then. So we're still long some AAXN. And again, these are stocks that I've put on Twitter. They're not just, you know, things I'm talking about hindsight. Um, there's still a lot of great opportunities in this market. We got stopped out of SDGR yesterday. We got involved in here. 
here right at this point and uh, we had taken a third off right here and gotten stopped out of the balance yesterday right there. Uh, we held it for two days and made seven and a half percent. Maybe it continues to move higher. I'm going to wait for the pullback to exhaust itself and then reload. Uh, let's look at the uh, cryptos. The Bitcoin still higher highs and higher lows. This is a daily time frame. I had first mentioned it right over in here as it was starting to break out. I'm still long. I have reduced my exposure uh, fairly dramatically. I've, I've cut more than half of my crypto exposure the last couple days. I'm looking at this market as quite extended and maybe it can pull back down under 17,000 and I can replace some uh, and in shares of, uh, not shares, but in Litecoin. Uh, this one I had first mentioned, you know, down in here at 56, $58 per share. Uh, still own some of that one. I know it's not per share, but that doesn't matter. Um, the point is I've reduced my exposure here as well, looking to reload maybe down near 75 and Ethereum, you know, this is the one that I'd said I liked the best on the weekly time frame. By the way, this is trend spider charts you're looking at right now, and these are anchored volume weighted average price levels. If you go to alphatrends.net and look at this video, you'll see that there's also a link to their software for 50% off, which is a great deal. They are great people over there, friends of mine, and um, Anyways, they've got great uh, software as well. So here on Ethereum, I'm looking to reload probably down near about 535 uh, for a little piece and down near 500 for a, a bit more. Uh, tomorrow is a holiday, of course, and Friday's a half day. So I'm not going to talk about any new stocks um, because it'll be a low volume event on Friday and most likely not the best day to be trading. So enjoy your day off. Maybe uh, extra take the day on Friday as well. And happy Thanksgiving.